Hello everybody and welcome back to Squiddy Vlogs. We are back with another awesome unboxing. Today we're here with Cooge, who is just chilling outside. He was very stubborn, so I couldn't bring him inside into my office like I normally do to film these types of videos. So I'm sorry if the quality is a little bit less, if the audio is a little bit worse in today's episode, but it's fine. We're gonna be opening another one of these. So um, as you can tell, Cooge is very happy <laughs> to be here. He doesn't even know what this is. He should do, because we open it up every Every month but um it was quite funny the postman actually left this box outside and Cujo uh he actually tried to, to get into it without filming so how very rude but anyway let's open this up and let's see what's in this month's possum unboxing are you ready ah, what is actually in this week we've got another one of these are we on this yet we're not on it yet every week we try to be on it but we just we're just not on it Cooch. look we're not on it. He's literally doing nothing. Like, I've got two cameras set up. Like, this is the main one. And I've set another one up just for him. Just because you can see he's just not doing anything. But yeah, it's quite a big box this week. I had one. It's actually been that long that we've had two Horseman boxings delivered. Now, this is the biggest one. The next one that I'm going to do probably in a couple of days. Because we've got it here already. It's quite a lot smaller than this one. So, it's actually packed quite good. We have got... A penguin. I don't really know what this is. This is it's just like a really hard ball, but it's it's basically a penguin. That's that's pretty much it. It's just a penguin. Oh, there we go, we focus now. How long was it not focused for? <laughs> anyway, yeah, there you go. So we've got a penguin. It's quite hard, Cooge. Got a toy for you, mate. Oh, he's interested now. Do you want it? Do you want it? Let's show everybody. So this is the penguin. How do you think of this? Oh, he was actually making an effort now. Do you like it? What do you think? He's nomming on its nose. <laughs> Go on, I'll leave you that there. There we go, that's for you. All right, we'll just let him do his thing. Right, so next in the box, we have got some moments. And it says fruit. There you go, some fruit moments. Eight to ten snacks for every five kilograms of the animal's body weight per day. Kuja is eight stone. So, he's about... That's like a hundred. A hundred... I don't think there's a... You could have this whole pack. Look, he's, he's, he's like wants it now. Kuja, you could have this whole pack in a day, it says. Look, I'm not wrong by saying this, am I? It's okay, mate. You don't have to... <laughs> what are you doing? You don't have to be upset. Here, go back to your toy thing. <laughs> Just like whacked it. Get it, mate. Go on. All right, so you could have this whole thing. The view of Kuja. Well, let's give you one anyway. You're going to sit down. Stay there. Okay, all right. Let's give him one of these then. Okay, so these are my Kuja. Got one. You can have the whole pack if you wanted to. Look, Cooch. <laughs> you can have to sit down, mate. I can't get you on camera. The perfect filming ever. Pretty much what happened is, is Nicole's gone out, so I'm I'm left to film Cooch on my own. Sit. Yeah, that's a camera. <laughs> Don't eat the camera. Sit. Yeah, you do listen. Right, here you go. He is one of a hundred. Good boy. What do you think? It's fruit. I don't know how it's fruit, but it, apparently it says fruit. You like it? You want another one? Paw. Listen. No, that's my finger. <laughs> paw, paw. Okay. You just, you just, you just become a snake. Great. There you go. You can have it. <laughs> that's the fruits done. They were pretty good. We still got more though, mate. We still got quite a lot more. Let's just look at the next thing we've got. So we have got this toy, which is there's a picture of a beagle on the front of it. There's all the other different types of languages, but there's not English on there <laughs> for some reason. Okay, no, you just just take it. Just take the whole thing. Go on. Uh, uh, slobber. All right, Cooge is all the way over there now. Are you good, bro? Okay, he's just doing... He's just removing the packaging for me. Good job, mate. All right, so we've got a few more left. I'm just going to leave Cooge to chew stuff over there. So we have got... Wait, I thought it was just like, I don't know, like a little tag you put on your dog or something, but it's just a piece of cardboard. I thought there was something attached to it. I thought that was the thing, but it's not. It says it's from a bonkers bird. Oh, apparently this is a thing called a bonkers bird, and it's also a bouncy ball. Really? I want to test this. Huge, apparently this bounces. Apparently it bounces. Ready? Oh, it does bounce. 
Nice! Doesn't lie. All right, well, it does bounce, so that's good. Anyway, something a little bit less interesting. We have got some cleansing wipes. They would have come in earlier for the slobber, wouldn't they? Actually, they'll probably come in now. We normally just wipe his mouth with like a kitchen roll because St. Bernard, Bernard's uh, are prone to slobbering like, all the time. So it's good to, to wipe them with something soft because if, if you wipe them with something quite harsh all the time, it, it's not really that gentle on their the skin. So, uh, well, on the jowls, that's what I mean. But anyway, so these are these, some, some cleansing wipes, pretty much. I'm, I'm pretty sure they've probably got no perfume in or anything. Yeah, alcohol free for the sensitive areas. This would be really good for dogs that are like wrinkle prone, like pugs, you know, Frenchies and stuff like that, other kind of like bulldogs. Any, any dogs with sort of like wrinkles, they get quite a lot of bacteria in the creases. So this would be really good for any owners that have wrinkly dogs. Cooch is a saggy beast, so he just gets mad for <laughs> Yo, you good, bro? You good? Did you enjoy it? No, we're just getting on with it. All right, yeah, so we've got some cleansing wipes anyway. Okay, we've got two more things. This is actually like a huge bag that I'm just throwing everywhere. There's a lot of sticks in there. A lot of sticks. So this is the Denti Fresh Dental Plaque Control. Mate, do you want to look as happy as this fella on the packaging? I think you do. Oh, he's just playing with um, the bouncy bird over there. <laughs> yeah, you get 40 sticks in this thing. Which is quite a lot, really. This is quite a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Basically just says, helps reduce tartar, cause of bad breath, amongst other things. So, uh, do you want one? We might as well give him one. We're giving him, like, everything today, so we might as well. Oh. Oh. Right. They look pretty big as well, these things. Here we go. Whoa! Wait, wait, yeah. Camera. Oh, the camera nearly fell. Good boy. Here you go, mate. Clean your teeth. Good boy. Please don't knock over the camera. He seems to be enjoying it. You just see just a big bum in, in your face. <laughs> he good, bro? Ah, oh, there he is. He's happy away. But yeah, that's a really big, generous bag. There's like 40 sticks in there. Give him one a day. That'll last easily like a couple of weeks. So it's pretty good. But anyway, last but not least, I think we've had these before and they stink. Chicken snacks. Again, just like a one a day thing. Low in fat, 55% real chicken. Ah. What's the rest then? Why would you call it? It's not really chicken snacks, is it? It's chicken and something else. What, what's the other thing? It's not bad though. 55% real chicken, I guess. Pretty good. But yeah, that's been it. What is that noise? Nice? It's a bloody tractor going down the road. Oh, you good boy. It was a tractor. It sounded like a helicopter though. But yeah, guys, that has been this week's Porcelain unboxing. I'm going to give him a chicken treat because he has got a very sensitive stomach. So I've just given him stuff that I think is going to be all right. And look at this. Just an absolute mess. Did you enjoy it though, mate? But yeah, that's Cooch. He's getting on fine. Um, he's doing well. Yeah, this, these are like little update vlogs as well as like the Porcelain unboxing. But he's doing fine. He's still growing. As you can see, he's a big lad now. But um, yeah, next week we're going to be doing another dog. I think it's Marley next. So we'll be doing him. We've got another Porcelain unboxing just inside. So I'll probably be doing that very soon. He's loving that. <laughs> I'm going to give all the dogs a, a one of these little dentist stick plaque controls. Actually, I'm going to give them now so you can see him. Marley, Lily. What's this? What's this? <laughs> he's found the toy. Happy treat time! He loves that ball. Sit down. Good girl. There you go. I know it doesn't taste as nice, but... <laughs> Do you want one? Do you want to just put it in your mouth with the toy? Oh, <laughs> he's gone straight for it. There we go. Happy doggies. Happy, happy doggies. Happy cooge. Hey, you the toy? Oh, Mar <laughs> Marley wants the ball. Marley definitely chooses toys than treats. Do you want it? Ready. And... Go! There he goes. Good boy. Hey yeah, guys, that's the end of today's Postman unboxing. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Don't to do any other vlogs and let me know. I am pretty rubbish at vlogging, so I do apologize for the absence on this channel. But yeah, we do have another Possum uh, box in the kitchen, so we're going to open that with Miley next. If there's any toys in it, he's going to be a happy boy. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye!